If you're the kind of person who likes to go through a lot of steps to make your photos look great, then this is probably not the software for you. That being said, if you are the kind of person who just wants your photos to easily look amazing and even be able to batch process that action, then keep watching. Today we're going over a piece of software called Photo Lemur. Coming up next on TechTalkAmerica.com. Uh, if you'd like to check out Photo Lemur, we do have a link to it in the description of the video, and we do appreciate if you do use that link. So let's go into it. Um, so in order for me to demonstrate it, I want to show you what photos that we are going to be using today so that you see that there's no camera trick here, okay? So I have this folder on my desktop called Demo, and these are all photos that I shot. I think there's one drone shot and then a bunch that are just shot. I believe those are all with my iPhone. And um, these are totally untouched, okay? Uh, not touched up. Um, by the way, if you are not watching this class right now in HD, switch over. There's a little gear icon at the bottom right. Click on that and go over to high def. So um, this is from Vermont. It's the Von Trapp Family Lodge. Okay, this is one from here in Provincetown. Okay, a little boat. Just so you see, these are, they're overall pretty good photos, but you're going to see the before and after here. Okay, that's part of a film that I'm shooting. Okay, so those are what we're working with here. Oh, and one last drone shot, which by itself does look pretty impressive, and I think is actually the, no, it's not the background. So what we're going to do here to demonstrate it is you can literally take a folder of photos or one individual photo if you want, and you can drag it and drop it right here. This is the icon for Photo Lemur. I do think it's a very cute icon. A little creepy, but kind of cute. So let's go into it, and uh, you can see here, very, very simple. So I want to walk you through uh, the different parts of this app, starting with up here. You can see at any point, you can always load photos, okay? Or as I said, you can just drag and drop them right into the icon. Very simple if you want to change, you know, how much of the screen it takes up. Over here, we have a little eyeball icon, okay? That eyeball is basically just if you want to see the before image. Then the next one we have here is compare, and I would recommend that you just leave that turned on, okay? And then over here, we have your export options. You can send it to other sources like email, messages, Twitter, Facebook, or Flickr. Then down here towards the bottom center, we have a very simple crop tool, um, which works if you want. Um, you could also do this in something like photos, but uh, it's there if you need it. And then we have a little very simple slide bar, okay? And this is going to instantly make your photo look better. And it's just kind of a question of how much better. And 100% does not necessarily mean that it's going to look better for what you want. You hit a certain point in improving a photo that it just looks fake. And personally, I'm not a fan of that. Some people are. For me, I, I don't really like that. So uh, I want to show you really what this thing does. So there's this little slide bar on the very right-hand side of this image. And I moved it over here for a reason, because I didn't want you to see it too, too quickly. This is the before, right? All you have to do is grab that bar and drag it and voila, look at how those greens and pinks and the sky, they just pop off the image. And this will instantly apply this to every single photo. So what I wanted to do is just kind of show you a very quick before and after of each of these. So I'm going to just put this part to music, so enjoy. Cool, right? So then when you're done, really all you have to do is go up here to File, and if you want, you can either export the image, you can also use that option there at the top right, or if you want to batch, batch export, excuse me, you can just click right here, okay, and you can do them all at once, um, and it, it chews through them relatively quickly. Part of that's going to depend on your processor. So I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. Uh, if you want to check out Photo Lemur, again, you can check out the link in the description of the video. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can do that by clicking on the little icon right next to me. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.